Good morning, this is Kevin Ashworth uh, with Fighting Fear with Kevin Ashworth. Uh, I do these weekly blogs, video blogs that uh, talk about anxiety. I'm the co-director of Northwest Anxiety Institute in Portland, Oregon, where we treat uh, anxiety disorders with exposure response prevention. Today I want to talk about what is cognitive behavioral therapy? What is CBT? We get so many referrals from people uh, that are told that they need CBT and they're not quite sure what it is. And so I want to give a quick overview today of what cognitive behavioral therapy is in a nutshell and then talk about how you utilize cognitive behavioral therapy principles to help overcome your anxiety. Um, so cognitive behavioral therapy is um, this idea that if you change the way that you behave that you can actually influence your thoughts and your feelings. So many people come to therapy hoping to feel better. And they have waited for a really long time for that feeling to shift before they do something. So many people will say, when I feel less anxious, I will leave the house. When I feel less nervous, I will have small talk. When I feel less scared, I will ride an elevator. And um, when I don't feel this anxiety, I won't have to wash my hands as much. So whatever the issue is, people are always waiting for a feeling. The example I always give to people is, if I worked out uh, when I felt like it, I would never ever go to the gym, which is kind of true. <laughs> um, I've said this before, but this is a really important principle to follow that in order to go to the gym, I have to behave differently and then my thoughts and feelings catch up. So if you think of a triangle, a triangle, um, and, and this is the cognitive behavioral triad and you have behavior, you have feelings, and you have thoughts. And there's bi-directional relationships between these two. So you mess with one, you influence the other. Let's stop trying to change our feelings first. Let's put that aside because we can't change it directly. Now, if you think of your thoughts, we have some control over our thoughts, but not 100% control. Um, we know this if you've ever had a bad, negative, self-deprecating, awful thought about yourself. It's not that easy to push it away. Or if you've ever tried to go to sleep and you have a thought on your mind or a song even stuck in your head, we can't just think that thought away. So this idea of changing our thoughts with more positive ones is very, very difficult. If you're successful at that, good for you. But it's hard for most people. Behavior we control 100% of. And we know that if you change your behavior, you change the other stuff indirectly. So I want people to think with their feet and really challenge yourself to say, if I can't, if I don't feel like going out because I might have a panic attack, can I walk to the mailbox? Can I walk to the end of the driveway? And just sit with that feeling. Because only then can you ever establish the evidence that nothing bad is actually going to happen. Anxiety is based on the premise of um, perceived danger. There's no actual threat. But with anxiety, we believe because of our feeling that something bad is going to happen regularly. And then we use that evidence because we feel uncomfortable that it could happen. So we don't behave. We stop. We avoid. We cope. We do something differently. And so we use these principles in cognitive behavioral therapy to help people to behave differently. And that is so important. And that's why we say do one thing every day that scares you because just doing that one little extra thing without the safety helps improve your confidence, your repertoire of skills, and really put you out there. So that's what I wanna encourage everyone to do today is to do something every single day that scares you. Our mantra is fight fear, find freedom. And that fighting fear does not have to be anything dramatic. It is just doing something small. Of course, Cognitive behavioral therapy in the scheme of therapy is a little bit more complex. You know, therapy more than anything, we know that the single most common thread amongst any type of therapy is relationship, rapport building. And cognitive behavioral therapy sometimes gets a bad rap for being mechanical or kind of um, um, like you're following a menu, so to speak, or um, a how-to book. And that's just not true. Um, there is no way that I could work with the clients that I work with and have them challenge their fear without relationship, without rapport. So of course, empathy is so important and empathizing with people is sitting with them in their kind of worst, worst spots. And so relationship is absolutely key. Connection is absolutely key, but actually knowing how to make behavior change is also very, very important to help people get better. So those are some of the basic principles of cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, Please subscribe if, if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm getting a couple emails now from people that are interested or find this helpful, which I love. Thank you so much for sharing your story with me and, and, and reaching out. If you have any questions or any topics that you would like me to discuss, please do. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. Email me at kevinnwanxiety.com. Go to our Facebook page, which is Northwest Anxiety Institute. 
and uh, thank you so much. Uh, I will do another one on Monday. Thanks, take care.